Hi, I'm Dr. Ahmed Kazmi, and today I'm speaking about moisturizers. As a doctor, I'm frequently asked by patients which is the best moisturizer to use, how often to apply it, and what the difference is between the types. I'm really hoping by the end of this short video, you'll have a better understanding of the subject. The first thing to say is that nothing can put moisture back into skin. The only thing that can be done is to form a barrier over the skin to slow down the loss of water which the skin produces for itself. That's why calling them moisturizers is a little bit inaccurate and the proper name for them is emollients and this is what health professionals call them. All an emollient is is really a mixture of water and oil in a different proportion. So those which contain a large amount of water are light and thin and they're referred to as lotions. Those which have a very high oil content are thick and greasy and they're called ointments and the ones in between are referred to as creams. If you have a very hot or burning rash, then because of the high water content of lotions, this is the best bet for you. They evaporate off the skin quite quickly and this produces a soothing and cooling effect. They're not that great though for dry skin. If you have a skin condition where your skin is quite dry or cracked, then a greasy ointment is really your best choice because it's very good at locking in moisture as it stays in contact with the skin for a long period of time. It also makes scaly skin much more soft and supple. Some people though, however, find the greasy nature of ointments messy to use, and also sometimes it can block hair follicles causing spots. And this is why most people end up using the middle ground of creams, which are quite light and easy to apply, and they last on the skin for a medium duration of time. If you have a dry skin condition, such as eczema, then you really need to be applying an emollient multiple times during the day, enough times as is needed to keep your skin feeling soft and supple. For most people, this will be between two and six times a day, depending on your skin type and how greasy an emollient you're using. When applying emollients, it's a good tip to remember to try and go in the direction of the hair growth. This will reduce the likelihood of you getting spots. And the other thing that's worth remembering is that although there's lots of different brand names available on the market, they're all pretty similar in effectiveness. The only advice I would give you is to steer clear of em emollients, which are particularly fragranced or colorful. Be brave and experiment. Find the one that suits you best and find a regime that you're most comfortable with. And don't be afraid to mix and match. You may, for example, end up using multiple different types of emollient. You might use a lighter cream during the day when you're at work or school. And then in the evening after bathing, you might go for a greasy oily emollient to have on overnight. So I hope that's answered a few of your questions about emollients. Thanks.